students today i am going to explain you integration by part okay integration by part if there are two functions in product form just like fx into gx dx see here there are two functions in product form just like fx first function or second function you can take gx there are two functions okay and both of them are in product form so how will you integrate it if you are unable to apply substitution method in two functions given just like if you are given 1 by x into log of x dx so here also two functions 1 by x and log x but you can solve this integration by substitution method even just taking log x as t 1 by x dx will become dt so your weight it will become dt and log x is t and then after applying the formula t square by 2 plus c you can solve it but if you are unable to uh, solve it by substitution method then just go for integration by part now see how will you solve integration by part so there is a formula of integration of first function I am writing like just like this first into second dx ok you can remember a formula like this integration of first function into second function dx is equal to first function into integration of second function ok first function into integration of second whatever you will take i will explain you uh, which function you can take first and which one as a second function okay but first of all just learn this formula first into second function uh, if you are given then how can you apply the formula integration of first function into second function dx is equal to first function in into integration of second function minus differentiation of first function differentiation of first function into integration of second function and whole integration whole integration once again I would like to explain you this formula integration of product of two functions first and second is equal to whatever function you have taken as first here write as it is means first function into integration of second function minus differentiation of first function into integration of second function whatever you are getting result from here again thus integrate to that one ok that one means uh, to differentiation of first into integration of second whatever is the result integrate once again to this one ok so applying this formula for integration by part you can solve for example and how you consider which function should be taken as first and which one should be taken as second obviously uh, second function integration is here in the formula so try to take that function as second function which integration is quite easy or which integration is known ok otherwise I am just giving you a common method only for helping L I A T E short form is of L for logarithmic function I for inverse trigonometric function A for algebraic function T for trigonometric function and E for exponential functions 
Okay, it means here the sequence is this one. So if out of these two functions, just check which one is just left to other one. Okay, for example, if you are given x into log x, x into log x. Okay, so see here, this is your logarithmic function and this is your algebraic. So, in this here question, x, logarithmic and algebraic both functions are present. So, which one you have to take as second and which one as a first? So, just check from here, logarithmic is voice to geometry, algebraic. Logarithmic is just left uh, or it is coming uh, left to A for algebraic. So, which one is left one, okay, to other that you need to take as first. Since it is coming first and it is afterward. That's why it will be taken as first and it will be taken as second. In the same way, you can take as first and second function, right. Just like now, if you have to integrate one, uh, log x only, so single log x, but its integration is not known. Since you have to find this integration of log x, how will you take? So if a single function is given and you have to find in, uh, integration of it, then just take 1 into. And this one will be taken as second function. Okay. And this log x as logarithmic as a first function. Okay. Now see how will you integrate it by the formula. Here you have taken this one as first and this one as second. So applying the formula integration of first function when that is uh, here 1 into log x dx is equal to first function. I have taken first as log x. So log x taking as it is into integration of second, integration of second, second function is 1, 1 dx minus integration, differentiation of first, d by dx of log x, okay, into integration of 1, that is second function, whatever is the result, again integrating it, okay, so your result will be log x, Integration of 1 is x minus differentiation of log x is 1 by x. Integration of 1 is x and whole integration x x cancel out. So it is your x log x minus. Now here integration of 1 that is x. So this is your result. Integration of log x will be equal to x log x minus x. In this way you can solve this. So you can learn the formula of this one. Integration of log x is equal to x log x minus x. You can take x as common. So your result will be x within bracket log x minus 1. Okay, some more questions. It will be easy to understand for example integration of x cos x dx ok so you need to remember this one to decide the first and second function. Okay. As well as you have to learn and remember this formula of first function into second function. Okay. Which is equal to here first function into integration of second function minus differentiation of first function into integration of second function whole integration 
Okay. So see, x cos x dx. Now decide which function is second and which one is first. Just go through. Liate, logarithmic, inverse trigonometric, algebraic. Algebraic function is here. Yes, algebraic function is here. And trigonometric. So algebraic is just left to trigonometric. Algebraic is coming first and thereafter trigonometric. So algebraic and trigonometric both are there. So take algebraic as first and trigonometric as second function. Okay. Now apply the formula. First function integration of second. Integration of cos x is what? I am writing once. Integration of cos x dx minus differentiation of first one that is x. Integration of second one and whole integration. Whole integration. Okay. So the result will be x into integration of cos x is sin x minus differentiation of x is 1 into integration of cos x is sin x dx. Okay. This implies that x sin x minus now integration of sin x is minus cos x. So minus cos x plus c. This will be your result. Now, one more question. Integration of x tan inverse x. Yes. Now, see. Which function out of this? What functions are available? Here, algebraic. And this is your tan inverse x. It means inverse trigonometric function. Okay. So, see from here, inverse trigonometric function is coming first, algebraic function is afterward. So, inverse, just you have to check here which functions are present. So, inverse function and algebraic, these two functions. Out of these two, which one is first? So, take that one as first and another that is second. Right? So, this one is as first and this one will be taken as second. Now, how will apply the formula? First function, that is tan inverse x. Integration of second, integration of x. Now see, integration of x is what? x square by 2. Directly apply, I am going to apply the formula. So, tan inverse x and integration of second, x square by 2 minus differentiation of first, tan inverse x differentiation, 1 upon 1 plus x square. Integration of second, that is x square by 2 whole integration ok this implies that x square by 2 tan inverse x minus 1 by 2 will be out here x square upon 1 plus x square dx now how will you solve it ok you can do 1 plus and minus 1 dx Okay, this implies that x square by 2 tan inverse x minus 1 by 2. Now 1 plus x square upon 1 plus x square means integration of 1 minus integration of 1 upon 1 plus x square dx. Now see, this will be equal to x square by 2 tan inverse x minus Integration of 1 is x, so x and this will be by 2 and this minus minus plus 1 by 2 and here it is 10 inverse x, 10 inverse x plus c, okay. So you can take 10 inverse x, 1 by 10 inverse x, 1 by 2 tan inverse x as common so here it will, you will get from here 1 from here x square so 1 plus x square tan inverse x and minus x by 2 plus c this is your answer 
Now one more question that is <coughs> integration of log x base 10 now. So see here also you need to take 1 into <coughs> the after integration this one you will take definitely first and this one as second since logarithmic function and constant is there. So first function log x plus 10 integration of second that is x minus differentiation of first. So differentiation of log x plus a means base 10 1 by x into log e base 10 into integration of second that is x dx. Now this x x cancel out. So x log x base 10 minus now log e base 10 is a constant quantity you can take it as out integration of 1 dx. So its result will be x so x log e base 10 and here x log x base 10 plus c. This is the result of integration of log x base 10. One more numerical just like integration of sine under root x dx. Okay. If you have any of the trigonometric function and thereafter under root x, in most of the cases, just first of all apply substitution method by taking left under root x as t. So differentiation of this one 1 upon 2 under root x dx is equal to dt. It implies that here dx is equal to 2 under root x dt. It means that the place of dx what can you write? It implies that 2 under root x dt. And thereafter sin, here applies in this dt here, sin under root x. Under root x you have taken t. So he at the place of this root x also you have to put t. Okay. So 2 t or here this implies 2 t dt. Right. So 2 t dt. Now 2 you can take out and thereafter 3 sin t. See now it is product of two functions. Okay, so this is algebraic and trigonometric. Algebraic and trigonometric now. So algebraic and trigonometric, these two functions are available. So this algebraic as first and trigonometric as second. You get. So it implies that two is outside. Now first function into differentiation uh, integration of second. That is minus cos t minus differentiation of first that is 1 integration of second minus cos t dt okay like this now it should like that minus 2 t cos t and this minus minus plus integration of cos now here this 2 will be here also so integration of cos is your sin t plus c. Here also just replacing this t under root. So minus 2 root x cos under root x plus 2 sin under root x plus c. This is your result. Okay. One more question. Now. sin cube root x sin cube root x how you do so let under root x is equal to t so 1 upon 2 root x dx is equal to what dt it implies that dx is equal to 2 root x dt this 2 root x root x is t so 2 to dt Replacing here, it's implied that 2t 
dt and sin q t okay now see this sin q just can be converted into linear form by using sin 3 theta formula so sin 3 uh, x is equal to 3 sin x minus 4 sin cube x okay so from here sin cube x is equal to what 3 sin x minus sin 3x divided by 4. So by using that formula, first of all just converting it to taking common t into at the place of sin cube t, we can write 3 sin t minus sin 3t divided by 4. This d. This 4 also can be taken out. So 2 by 4 integration here t uh, into 3 sin t 3 sin t minus as with this minus t into sin 3t dt ok like this so see here t sin t already in previous question we have done what? trigonometric algebraic so this algebraic function as first trigonometric as second here also this is a first function this will be taken as second function so you can apply here now it is quite easy to solve uh, in next lecture i will explain you some more numericals thank you so much